Hello guys, what's up? So in this video, we are going to see what is AMI. Okay. In the previous video, we have seen the EBS volume. So now we'll see what is AMI. Okay. So let's begin. Okay. So uh, let me show you uh, this thing with an example. Okay. Let us suppose guys. Okay. Let us suppose guys, you are having an image EC2 instance. Okay. You have an EC2 instance and you have done DB configurations. Okay. You have written code in Python. Okay. And you are using a particular surface. Let us suppose AWS SQS. Okay. You are using this uh, service. Okay. These are the three services that you are using inside the in, uh, in your EC2 instance. Now what happened is, okay. So, this is uh, this is a huge bunch of software let us suppose this is a data analytics okay analytics software you can say that data analytics software that you have developed for your company okay now your company wants that you need to create an image so that you can utilize it later on okay by some doing some customization or uh, by doing some changes you can do so what you did, you make an image, you have make an image and store it inside your templates in the form of template. Okay. You know the template, what it is template. Okay. In the form of template, you can store it in the form of uh, image so that you can utilize it again or you have a template full set of configurations. Okay. Now what you need to do, you just need to click on a button to launch your instance. Okay. Let us suppose you have making uh, this uh, template for USA. Now you want to share this template, this full configuration to some other, other region. You can also do that. Let us suppose you want to uh, give this template to a Japan. So you can do it. Okay. By creating a copy, you can do it. Okay. Very simple method. Okay. This is one. You can say that this is one use case. Okay. Another use case. Okay. You can use this image. Okay. You can use this uh, AMI image for reference. Okay. For reference also. What is that reference? Okay. Let us suppose you have created a software of uh, data, uh, data analytics. Okay. Software data D A I L pronounce it as DA data analytics uh, software you have developed now for a reference to create new software okay for a reference to create new software you have to take it the configuration of this software okay let us suppose you have created for ABC company okay now you want to take a reference of this software okay so you can also do that Okay. By creating an image, you can refer this thing or you can utilize, you can do some customization. Okay. Customization and you can create your own image. Lot of uh, service based companies. Okay. Are using these kind of things. You have seen if you have worked upon some service based companies. Okay. You have seen that lot of companies are uh, uh, creating a software use a configuration in multiple platforms for multiple clients they are using or they are leveraging the same kind of softwares. Okay. This is a, you can say that strategies that they have used for creating a lot of uh, client, uh, customer and client relationship. So this is very helpful and handy. You have seen that within a few, uh, because, because one thing that the power and the time that it has been, uh, you know, spent on this development can be leveraged so that we can do some customization to improve the better performance, to improve some better quality of that software. Okay. So, uh, it is very essential. Now let's, uh, go to the theory part. Okay. So here we come to the theoretical section. So what it says, so AMI support and maintain image provided by AWS. Okay. So it is used to maintain the uh, EC2 instances configuration 
and the images that we can derive from those EC2 instances. Okay, you can launch multiple instances from a single AMI image when you uh, require the same configuration. Okay, when you require the same configuration. So I, as I told you, we have a data analytics tool. We can use it in various kind of platform with the same configuration. Or if you want to do some customization also, we can also do that. We'll see in the lab section. Don't worry. And can build for a specific regions can provide copies across multiple regions. So you can create a lot of copies guys. Okay. A lot of copies means uh, this data analytics tool. You can use it in USA, Japan. Okay. UK. So various kind of plat uh, regions you can utilize that thing by creating the copies. You can see the from the image also. Okay, we can utilize this. We can leverage this. Okay, very simple. Okay, so this is uh, very important for your exam perspectives and uh, for your uh, interview perspective. To you can you know showcase this case study how we can create it. Okay, how we can leverage this thing. And now let's begin to the lab section, which is my favorite. Okay, let's begin. So guys, we are in this EC2 instance dashboard. So let's launch our EC2 instance. Okay, so I'll show you step by step. Okay, you might ask me a question that sir, why are you showing again and again? So uh, I'll tell you because uh, every time you, you, you see that the dashboard is also changing. But uh, if you, you know, do it with myself. Okay, if you do it, uh, with myself side by side so your learning will also increase increase okay and it will it has become a cakewalk for you okay in the next coming um, days okay so let's just uh, edit this thing network settings okay uh, let's assign a network and uh, make sure that you have assigned this public IP as uh, enabled okay okay so let's click on this launch and let's begin our uh, launching an uh, uh, image of EC2. Okay, so it is very handy guys. Okay, you can uh, launch uh, multiple instances and you can create AMIs of them. Okay, you can rebuild and reuse those instances. Okay, at various kind of places. So basic perspective, you understand that why we need it. Okay, so let's see and make it running okay so it is running now so what we did uh, what we do is to just click on this and right click on this okay and just click on this images and templates so you click on this create image okay you see this okay we can say that demo ami image okay you can give description like you let us suppose you have in your project you have uh, done the development or configuration till db database okay you can say confi uh, configuration done for db okay just like that so as of now we are not we have uh, just are using for the test purpose so it's a good practice to give some description about your image okay just click on this image okay and yeah voila okay we have created our in image so in the left left hand side you can see uh, under the images ami okay just click on this ami and you can see that this is our image okay and guys please make sure that uh, this status should be available okay this status should be available okay otherwise it will give you cannot able to uh, create a ec2 instance because uh, it is it is still in the pending state okay so wait till that time okay now uh, i'll tell you so there are two ways that you can you know launch the instance okay first way is to just uh, click on this uh, from this ami if you want to uh, launch an ec2 instance so what you can do just click on this and you you see the, here launch instance from ami okay uh, and you come up here you can see uh, it's simple like okay it's simple you just need to do some configuration additional configurations and or if it is already been done you just need to launch an instance and you are good to go you can see it has already taken from the catalog already taken from the catalog you can see demo ami image 
and you do not have to do anything you just need to click on this launch and you can create it okay another way another way another way is that you just come to the ec2 dashboard okay let's start uh, let's launch it from the fresh okay so what we need to do here you can see uh, it is loading okay so we are creating uh, our ec2 instance from uh, ami okay so you can see uh, my ami okay so you you see there there are multiple uh, ami images that you can launch launch it from so i'm having only one so i'm clicking on this or guys what you can do let us suppose some other company or some you with one of your friend shared uh, ami image with you so what you need to do you just need to launch it okay so you just need to click on this and you can launch it okay very simple simple process okay so let me just select this okay and just click on this launch uh, if that ami is still pending then it is not launching okay let's make sure okay it is failed why why guys because you can see ami is still in pending state so <coughs> wait for this uh, to become uh, available okay so i'm waiting for that time so now you can see that uh, it is in available state so what we can do just go back and just try to launch it again okay so these kind of failures if you encountered now so don't uh, got uh, you know <clears throat> worried about it okay these are uh, uh, simple things okay so try to resolve it okay so let's give it okay and just click on this launch let's hope that uh, it will it will launch so yes successfully it has launched okay you can see so view all instances so you can see guys okay so you can see the same in uh, uh, you can see this uh, instance okay it's good okay and one thing you have noticed that uh, i have launched it in different availability zone that also you can do because in ami okay you can uh, launch it in different regions also okay that's a great thing about the ami i hope uh, the things are cleared guys okay so we'll see you in the next happy learning